So I know it's a it's going to be a long process to go to, uh, but bear with me, okay? I'm going to give you a little bit very short ones, so watch the video later on from YouTube. So these are the uh, soil order and uh, and and it's and this is description. So I believe I've already told you what are the descriptions. So once you kind of know that the soil have such and such characteristic, so you can safely say that okay, that probably is soil order, but Sometimes you need to be careful because, for example, let's say if the soils that you found up is mainly organic matter. And when you look back at the 11 soil series, there are two. Because one is molisol, the other one is histosol. So which one is which? Usually when people want to do this soil classification, we're going to like uh, shortlist a whole list of soil characteristics that best describe the character. And then using as much information that we have on the soil characteristic then only we make our judgment which are the soil order and then based on the other information like moisture regime then you slowly derive the entire full name okay full soil classification of the soil well it takes a long process and then this is it but here's the thing okay let's say if you have a soil order based on this one so you determine that uh, Follow on and then now if you have molisol and you want to describe further what are the uh, states of the organic matter you actually can actually uh, now based on these uh, horizons that we talk about usually the molisols will have a molic horizon molic means dark color surface horizon more than 10 centimeters thick so these are the organic matter that are in high content very thick um and there are more descriptions actually i would say because organic soil i will i will, I will continue on this thursday when you want to describe further on the organic soil there are three more states there are three more uh diagnostic uh diagnostic terms to define this uh the states of uh decomposition of this organic matter But most of the soil order, after you have determined the soil order, what's next would be the sub-order. This the second level already, one level down then the order. So sub-order, what do we usually address? You're usually going to determine how much moisture is contained over there. So this is quite easy because usually in Malaysia, it's unique. Aridic, nah la, come on, Malaysia. We, 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 there, there was never Malaysia is that dry. Malaysia, second highest rainfall in Malaysia, uh, in the world, is Malaysia. So usually it's Udic. Usually it's Udic. Okay? The rest of it depends on where is the location. So Aridic, maybe in arid countries like Sahara, in Africa, maybe in Ara. Zeric usually is in Mediterranean. So this is European, maybe. Uh, sub Sahara continent on, uh, uh, on the northern side of Sahara continent, and then Eustic. Eustic is the climate between UD and Arid. So, we in Malaysia, la, we never experience the last three. Usually, it's the first one tropical, humid, climate, extremely wet regions. Yeah, this is Malaysia. Yeah, UD. Temperature region. Now, uh, this one also is quite safe. La. Malaysia don't have cry. Cry is freeze. Uh, cold, cold soil, we don't have that one. And usually it's the hot one. Uh, toric soil are both hot and dry. Cystic are cool. But I remember most of the soil order in Malaysia, we don't talk about temperature. It's too common. Usually we talk about the moisture regime. Yeah? So examples like this one. The first one, organic soil. Like I told you just now, if it's organic soil, usually the sub order we're going to determine how how is the state of decomposition, as you can see right here? Fibris, folies, chemis, and sapris. So based on this first part, the first part of this suborder, you see it? Five FIBR. So this is the first part. And this first part defines how much is the uh, uh, what are the characteristics more specific on uh, how much is the decomposition of this organic soil. But if you look at the end. Okay, the end of the sub suborder, it all ended the same way. IST, ST, 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 and ST. So where does it come from? It comes from here, histosol. 
So they all having the same ending due to the first part of the order, hist. So this hist will going to sit at the back of the suborder. Whereas the first part, the initial part of the suborder, will be defining what are the uh, different classification. But for organic soil, usually we're going to define how much they are decomposed. Now, moving on to the mineral soil, I believe, yeah, all of them are mineral soil. If you look at the mineral soil, they will talk about different things. They no longer talk about the states of organic matter because what's not? Most of this soil, they don't have organic matter. So this does not apply. And they only applies to the relevant ones, such as the moisture regime or maybe temperature, but you can see here already, it's all talking about moisture regime. And once again, the last part, the end of the suborder, ULTS, looks familiar, isn't it? Because this is, you, this is altisol. Altisol is the same name as lithosol. This is from altisol. So altisol, the other name for altisol is also lithosol. And the initial part of this suborder represent how much water do they have. Equal is wet. Zero means it's Mediterranean climate. But it's quite safe to say, once again, it's either equals, humals, these two only. The rest of it is practically non-existent in Malaysia. Humid climate, oh wait humid climates oh yeah yeah the third one also yes humid Malaysia is also quite humid so you adults also may appear you may you may see the first three the next three semi-arid Mediterranean no, la. Malaysia don't have this one. so I think I don't want to talk about sporosol because they are mostly the same way so you can see like how sub order and I have a uh, I, I think I don't want to talk too much about this one. You go and look at your seniors' past test paper. And then you, 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 you know. Okay? That is why I encourage you to watch the video, uh, the YouTube video next, which will be shown to you at the end of this lecture. Okay, now, summative. Okay, now, what are the, 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 the so-called the early parts, okay? The, 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 the beginning of the suborder. They have a name. They call it formative elements. So these formative elements usually is the early part of the suborder and they carry different meaning. So when you look at this again, they will also mean a lot of things. Not only temperature, not only the degree of decomposition of organic matter, they also can be so many things. So yeah, I don't I won't force you to memorize all these things. So just go through. Okay, have time, go through. And uh, I think I'll skip past all the so-called things and go to the great group. So we have discussed about order, suborder. Now this is the third level, great group. Now what does great group talks about? Virtually a lot of things. You can also see the particle size, it may also describe the presence of a certain ions and also the extent of weathering, practically a lot of things. Uh, so this, I leave it to you. Have a look. And sometimes, uh, sometimes these so-called formative elements may be used at different level. Um, I'm talking about, for example, this one. I believe you have seen this before in histosol. So just now we're talking about histosol, the order, the suborder. These formative elements has been used under suborder or histosol. But under some circumstances, these formative elements may be used again under great groups. So I think I won't go to talk too much. This is quite similar to um, to the uh, suborder. Even the formative elements can be used again at different levels. Sometimes in suborder, sometimes in great group. I know, I, I know you you must you you might have question. How does it happen? After this, I'm going to show you one example, and then you probably have some idea. Yeah, this is a slide that I'm trying to show you. Now, for the beginning, 
these are all in the middle, I mean, second column. Second column are actually soil classification in Bahasa Melayu. So I think I will not going to talk too much about this. But I cannot. Ah, these are all in these are all in Bahasa Melayu. So okay, now if you want to revise, okay, here's the thing. Do not revise using this slide. If you want to revise, like uh, do revision for your test after this, please do not please do not use this slide. Because this slide they have been using Bahasa Melayu. So this is not the most accurate ones. Lah. And therefore, therefore. You should. I'm going to show you the entire screen. Okay, for those who really want to know to the bottom, the actual way of knowing soil classification, you should go to U Future or Island Portal, and under Island Portal, go to Course Content. There is a video link that I put under Course Content. And you must watch that video. In that video, it's presented by a professor in uh, a university in the US, and he actually explained part by part, bit by bit, how soil classification is conducted, but in English. So I, I, I prefer you to watch that one, that, that video. some technicalities right here let's see if we can re-up the entire thing okay it's not going anywhere so i'm going to go to youtube and find the video soil classy Which video that you should watch? Usually it appears on top of you. Seems like Island Porto is not functioning right now. It's okay, I think I can find it from here. Just give me some time here. Yeah? Sometimes it's also called soil taxonomy. Ah, yeah, it's not just it's soil taxonomy. So it's this video. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to. I'm not. I'm going to remove the audio, and I'm going to copy and paste this link. Paste it under. Oh yeah, we already have this. Right? Is it the same? Yeah, yeah. It's a four G one. This one. Yeah. So thank you, CT, for posting this. It's this video, yeah? So make sure you watch this video. This guy, the lecture is even shorter than what I say. 37 minutes, and I'm sure you want to. After today's uh, Book of Wasa, have some time and read it, yeah? So they're going to explain to you what is taxonomy, and what I'm very intrigued is how he actually explained the formative elements right here. He explained it quite detailed and quite straightforward. Things that I think I better let this guy do his job lah. and it's this one that i want you to pay attention okay so minute 20th 20th minute 20th minute make sure you come here and really understand because this is the principle okay? this is a principle on how a soil taxonomy is given and guess what have a look have a look closely this name this is actually the english name okay I'm coming back to the slide. These are all in Malay. And guess what? You cannot use it and answer in, in, in your test and examination. So this slide is just for your reference because the real lesson on how to do this soil taxonomy is under this video. So take a look at this video and with that, I think that is enough for today. I don't want you to like go through all these things guys, because I think we have we still have Thursday. 
So on Thursday, we're going to continue with the rest of this soil example. Organic soil is what I'm going to cover. Okay, on Thursday, I'm going to cover this organic soil. And straight to the soil classification, just for one hour. One hour so, so for soil classification. So there are many slides. I, I have to say, there are many slides, but I will not go through each of these slides simply because they are example. Now, do you still remember the tips that I've given to you so far? you still remember? Okay, everybody switch on your audio. Everybody switch on your audio. Because I know you must be lost here and you don't know what to concentrate. So you can switch on your audio and then, do you, okay, I want to ask you, do you still remember what are the tips that I've given you today? Which, what, what to study? Tell me. What to study, what to memorize. Anyone? You can switch on your audio and reply lah. What to study? If you don't, if you don't double confirm, I, I'm afraid you might study a wrong thing and it might not come up in your exam. Uh, the eleven order. Eleven soil order. Yes. Not only the soil order, but you also need to know the. Definition, guys. The classification, the characteristic. Yes. Okay. What else? What else do you need to study apart from the eleven orders? Hey, come on, lah. I think I told you earlier, guys. Okay, I have one. Okay, so oh yeah, horizon. Okay, the order of the horizon. Yes, the mm -hmm. order of the horizon. Yes, please find out the correct uh, alphabet. Most importantly, the correct alphabet. Some people forgot about the alphabet, and also the the sequence. Okay, from the top until the bottom. It begins with O, yeah, not A. O horizon, and then it ends with R. R horizon. Uh, what else? Apart from these two. The one that I just told you minutes ago. Classification. It's the taxonomy, like I would say. The taxonomy. Taxonomy means how to give name. Uh, yeah, this video, yeah? This video. Okay, I, I'm going to break it for you. Lah. You know what? For, very, for, for many, many semesters ago, I asked students to watch this video. Uh, I really mean it, you know. I asked them, okay, you go watch this video. Yeah, yeah. They also say, yeah, yeah, watch this video. And then after that, in the test, I give them exactly this name. All cannot answer. Exactly this name. All cannot answer. So I know that they did not watch the video. But but now, but now, do not expect me to give you exactly this name. La. The name will definitely be different. I ask them, okay, I give you this name, and then I ask them, what is the order of this soil? They all cannot answer. See, the answer is already in the question. And because the order of this soil is ULT, altisol, and then UD, what does that mean? UD means it has high moisture regime and candy. Candy, I, I have to refer, I also don't remember what is candy. So these are the things that I might ask in the test, in the quiz. Uh, there's no final exam, so I'm going to ask you these things. Okay? But most importantly, make sure you know how to do this. Uh, because why? Because this is also related to your assignment. Now, I wish that your individual assignment, at the end of it, you could give me the soil taxonomy. The soil taxonomy at your hometown, your kampung. So this is the, the, the thing la, that I wish your assignment to have. But beyond that, for examination, the soil order, uh, then the horizon order, and also the soil taxonomy. Three things, yeah? okay? And the rest of this, example, you read it yourself. Next Thursday, we continue, okay?